Hello everybody, I'm Andy Dead, and today we're starting a new game, What Remains of Edith Finch, a fun surreal adventure game released back in 2017 that has been critically acclaimed for its narrative and for its visuals. But words are wasting time, so let's get going. What Remains of Edith Finch? Oh, the music is... something. We are on a boat. Straight in the game, eh? And a journal. Yeah, can I use it? A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. It's good to start at the beginning. Oh, we've got some nature going on, eh? Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Wow, I love the fact that the subtitles are part of the world. And we're moving in snail speed. I lived here until I was 11. But I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Why, though? Were there naughty things happening in half the rooms? Ooh. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Somebody hasn't paid their bills? I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Well, how old was your brother when he passed away? In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. It unlocks your fate, your legacy. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Well, it did bring you back, so... Are we going down there or up here? Let's go up. I've got to say, yeah, it looks amazing, eh? No, I should have gone the other way. A long time, but I saw a few have prints. Oh no, we can go under here. Oh, majestic deer. Goodbye, deer. You. The truth is. Even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Why, though? But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. All right. And we play some basketball. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Defying physics, you mean? As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Perhaps due to gravity? No? Missing... Milton Fint. Guessing we are related to Milton. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Why, though? I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Well... Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Ooh. Is it a haunted house? Well, possibly haunted with memories of the past. Is there a kitchen door or something?
a garage door. That we can't use, alright? Yeah, there it is. Isn't that supposed to be? The doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was eleven. Obviously, but isn't that supposed to be breaking and entering? Well, no, it's your house. The power had been turned off the night we left. All right, all right. Cosmic cuisine. That's the first thing that caught my eye. The Northwest Chef, Pacific Pantry. Pleasures of Japanese cooking. That sounds interesting. Book of mushrooms. Yeah, lots of cooking going on. Oh, and the kiddie pool. For the first time in years. Yeah. I felt like I was home. Your home seriously needs to be cleaned up, eh? But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. In loving memory of Louis Finch, loved brother to Edith, son of Don, great grandson to Eddie. Eddie, rather. Memorial service, all right. Wow, you've got a lot of copies of the same book. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. All right, maybe because it's, you know, so far away from anything. That's a lot of Or how canned. after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Yeah, that must have been a happy cat. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Nothing in the house looks abnormal, eh? You and I have very different opinions on what abnormal is. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Ooh. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Yeah, I really, really like how subtitles are placed. And we go in. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. You're speaking metaphorically, of course. I hope, at least. Hmm. Barbara. Oh, well, we must turn it. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Nice. I like it. And here is a photo of Barbara Finch's back. And collections of insects. Hey. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. I'm guessing we're going to have to find a new key then. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house, after it sank. All right. Ooh, fancy. Can we somehow... Oh. Can we somehow duck? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's get moving then. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Wow. That's dark. Oh, it's just a garage. And what is this here? 
My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Oh, so Grandma Edie. Yeah. And we're back at the kitchen. All right, let's let's check the fridge first. No, 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 nothing. Let's go upstairs. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Ooh, Edie. She was one sassy grandma, eh? And who might he be? Grandpa something? Molly. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If she hadn't died in 1947. You could be friends with a ghost. Oh, she really sealed those rooms, eh? All right, let's check the other way. Oh, open door. This is creepy. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Why? Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. All right, let's open up this classic. Yeah, it worked. Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. And what's going on here? Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. All right, let's do it. Oh, I love this. I loved stained glass. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Wait a minute. Aren't we playing as Edith? I guess we'll have but to I find out. No idea what was behind that door. <sighs> Just a lovely room, I guess. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Yeah, it, it kind of looks like it belongs in a painting. So, Molly, what info? That's a jellyfish plushie. Nice, for some reason. Hello, Molly. I the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. All right. Is this Molly's journal? December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. Have you been naughty? I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. Ooh. I don't think this will end well. A plastic pumpkin? My Halloween candy was all gone. You shouldn't have eaten it all. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Where's the gerbil? We'll never know. Mom, can I come out now? No. It's late. Go to sleep. All right, Mom. Why can't we go to sleep? Ooh, fancy. You thought about. I thought about eating Christopher. No. I held back. Molly, you're dark, eh? Things are getting really dark in the game as well. I kept eating and eating. Don't do that. You're going to eat the holy berries? 
Those are poisonous. I ate a lot of things that night. Ooh, and that's how Molly died, eh? Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. Did you eat it? I reached out for her. <laughs> and suddenly... <laughs> Now we're a cat. I was a cat. Yeah. That's always good. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Hey, what did you think, eh? Meow. I'm guessing we'll never get the bird. I turned the brightness up a bit so we can see something. There we go. And a little bit of platforming here. Come on, bird. I'm gonna eat ya. She's hallucinating from the berries, eh? I jumped and I almost got her. Almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. And now she's getting really yeah, away. I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. Did you All have an I accident? Think about was eating that mama bird. Oh. God damn it, Molly. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. Ow. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. A rabbit? A mole? Rabbits. Yeah, rabbits. Got ya. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. Oh. I swallowed him up. And I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew chew your food, girl. Something bigger. I don't know, a fox or something? A mama rabbit. Yeah. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking. But I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. A shark. What the hell is going on in this game? And now we control the shark out of water. Yeah, let's go further down. This is weird, but, but fun. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Yeah, you're hungry like a shark. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Oh, what the freak is going on? I off her flipper and it tasted really good. Those berries got here. On to the next meal, I guess. Not much happening here. The 
There's a fish. A seal, rather. Did we miss it? Grabbed on tight. But I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. And now you're Cthulhu? And I yeah. Mmm, tasty people. And we can knock the letters around. Can go under this? Yeah, we can. All right, that's a great way of moving around. You don't see that in games often. Yeah. Ninja Squid. I have played some weird games, but I've got to tell you this. This takes the prize. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Don't it? You are a squid monster. You can do whatever you want. What do we do with the drunken sailor? We feed him to the Cthulhu monster. Hit him. And now the captain. No, no, no. Go back. That's a fancy way of moving around. We don't get that to see... We don't get to see that a lot in games. Sneak up on him. No, no, this way. Get him. The last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. Something tasty. Oh, and now we're just moving. And the good smell went into an old pipe. Good smells in old pipes? I don't know, girl. Oh, we're back at the house. I got closer and closer. Are you gonna eat yourself? I'm going to eat Christopher. Wasn't that the name of the fish? All of my stomach started growling. Ooh, it's never good. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. Oh no. sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Oh, God. All right. Inter interesting stuff. But I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to cut the episode here. I'm loving this already. Yeah, I'm going to play through all of it and... Yeah, it's going to be really fun. It's surreal, artistic, interesting in many ways and yeah let's see where this takes us i will see you all next time until then stay safe and have fun